smartphone holds some of the most personal details of your life. So we went to the street to answer an important question. Do people understand the ways their smartphones are putting their privacy at risk? I'm just wondering how you guys feel about the security of your smartphone. Um, I don't really worry about it. I don't worry about it either. Do you mind if I have a look through your phone? No, definitely not. <laughs> why would you ask me that? Well, oh, so okay. why don't you want me to look through your phone? It's personal. I got my personal stuff on there. Right. I do banking on my phone. Did you know that some of the major apps on your phone ping your location thousands of times per week? Not thousands. I didn't know that. And if you're playing just a regular game, they can turn the camera on and watch you. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever thought about that before? That's actually terrifying. How would your colleagues feel or your boss feel if they got information to clients or private stuff and put them up online? They would not feel good about that. Yeah, that would be a big issue. The information from my work emails and stuff like that, that would be a major, major problem. What if someone took all those private photos and held them for ransom up on the internet or your home address? So they contact would be threatening you. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> That's a horrible thought. So based on me asking these questions, how do you mm -hmm. feel about the security of your phone now? I feel not great about it. I wish it was more secure. Not good anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Going to definitely take a look at my phone and see what I have on there and what apps I have. Here's the thing. Not all smartphones are equally secure. And that device you carry around isn't just your phone. It's your photo album and your bank account. It's your private conversations, your work documents and your browsing history. It's your entire life in the palm of your hand. And now you have the power to protect it like never before with the world's most secure Android smartphone. DTEK 50, fully Android, legendary security, only from BlackBerry. Visit blackberry.com forward slash DTEK 50. The DTEK 50 by BlackBerry combines everything you've come to expect from BlackBerry with the full ecosystem of Android and its apps. To start using your device, press and hold the power on off key on the left side of your device. Your lock screen shows a small summary of unread notifications and upcoming events. When your display is off, new notifications will appear for a few seconds and the LED indicator will pulse. When your device is plugged in, the charging status of your battery will appear across the edge of the screen for a short period. Wake your device at any time by tapping the screen twice or pressing the power on off key. Simply double tap a notification to access it or swipe up to unlock your device. No matter what you're doing, the standard Android navigation buttons appear at the bottom of your screen. This is your home screen. Access it at any time by tapping the home icon. Access recently opened apps using the overview icon or return to the previous screen using the back icon. BlackBerry understands that every second counts and convenience is key. That's why DTEK 50 comes with a customizable BlackBerry convenience key. With the press of a button, the convenience key provides quick access to your most used applications, tasks, and more. The first time you press the convenience key, you'll be prompted to assign an action. To change the action, swipe down from the top of the screen using two fingers and select the settings icon. Tap convenience key to clear your assigned action and select a new one. And when you're on a call, your convenience key doubles as a mute key. You can move between home screens by swiping left or right on the screen. You can also move between screens by moving your finger across the dots appearing in the favorites tray. If an application has an unseen notification, the BlackBerry Red Spark will appear. Preview your latest notifications by swiping down from the top of the screen at any time. You can tap to open a notification or pull down to see more. To select an item, tap it. If the item can be opened, it opens. To select multiple items such as photos, touch and hold an item until it's highlighted. Then tap on the other items you'd like to add or remove from the selection. Scroll through a list or move between items by sliding your finger up or down on the screen. 
You can use quick settings to access items you use frequently, such as screen rotation or Wi-Fi settings. To open quick settings, swipe down from the top of the screen once using two fingers, or twice using one finger. Advanced interactions can be accessed in the settings menu. Silence an incoming call by turning your device over, or make your device sleep and wake by double tapping an empty space on the home screen. Access all of your installed apps and widgets, or set up shortcuts with the apps drawer icon. If you're looking for something specific, just use a search bar to find apps, widgets, and shortcuts. The apps tab includes a complete list of apps installed on your device including apps that you download from Google Play. You can filter your apps here. Widgets are like miniature apps that you can often interact with on the home screen. For example, the BBM widget shows a small view of your current chats. And shortcuts help you quickly perform the tasks you do most often. If you frequently write emails, set up an email shortcut on the home screen. You can easily add an app, widget, or shortcut to the home screen for quick access. Just touch and hold an item from your app drawer and release your finger on an empty space when the home screen appears. Touch and hold to rearrange or delete these items on the home screen. Just drag to the desired location and release. Widgets are a great way to get information quickly, but they can take up valuable real estate on your home screen. BlackBerry pop-up widgets allow you to view any application widget by swiping up or down across the icon. When you add an app that includes a BlackBerry pop-up widget, three dots will appear beneath the app icon. When you first swipe your finger on an app that has more than one widget available, you're prompted to choose a default pop-up widget. You can change the default pop-up widget at any time by selecting the menu icon in the upper right corner. You can also turn individual pop-up widgets off from this menu. To enable or disable pop-up widgets, tap the app drawer icon and select Settings. Tap the checkbox to toggle these on or off. Organize your space with BlackBerry Launcher. Touch and hold the background to personalize your launcher by customizing your wallpaper, widgets, and icons, as well as access your BlackBerry Launcher settings. You can also access launcher settings from the upper right corner of the app drawer as well. Gesture controls have been improving the way information is accessed on BlackBerry smartphones for years. If you touch and swipe the home icon, you can quickly open BlackBerry device search, phone, or BlackBerry hub, so your most important information is only one swipe away. Just slide your finger up from the home icon and over an app icon. Then lift your finger to open it. You can also touch and hold the home icon to access Google Now. Swipe on the BlackBerry Productivity tab from any application. This tab provides you direct access to Calendar, BlackBerry Hub, Tasks, and Contacts. Take a sneak peek or open an app directly from the tab for more details. You can customize the tab's appearance and location here. You'll never be more than a swipe away from the information you need with your DTEC50 by BlackBerry.